Hey, Music Community Jeff here, and it's time for another CD collection. However, this is more of an addendum to the last one. So I did C, and I did C, A, and then I went back and started to pull for my next one, which I'll probably do right after this, and I realized that there, it's tough because I don't have every one of my CDs in the same place. I have certain styles in one room and I have some miscellaneous stuff in another room that hasn't been filed yet because I don't have the space and so I miss some and so I miss some in the CA category now most of these are probably going to be less known to a majority of you but there are some in here that fit in here and it, I'm like well I thought I passed by it but then one of my watchers one of the, the viewers mentioned what you don't have any of this band and I'm like actually I do and I, it was one of the ones I didn't show so I felt that to be a completist of my own stuff I would go ahead and show these extra most of these are going to be in the pop category quite a few of them do fall into the contemporary Christian category but there are some stragglers in here that got missed out so you know in all fairness let's jump into showing all of the rest so these are the rest of the CAs and then the next set will go from there so Let's pick up where we left off. So this is a band, and then we have the title in there, but Cayman's Call, they are a uh, little bit more on the melodic side um, of the uh, Christian realm, uh, folksy type stuff. I picked a bunch of their stuff up at a thrift store a while back, Chronicles, Cayman's Call. So I have a couple by them that uh, have come out. So just some uh, interesting, you know, those they're a little, you know, more modern style well modern 20 more years ago uh here's a fun one and this one i'll tell you the story behind it the best of cameo there you go cameo <laughs> yeah i got some cameo in my collection brief story about this one and quite a few other ones that i haven't filed in my system um going way back if you go back to one well you can't see them because i've taken them offline but a while back way back when i first started making videos i had three or four videos where i was giving away to anybody who wanted them a bunch of CDs um, like this. So um, briefly, if you don't know the whole story, but uh, one of my really good friends, the singer in my band Hemo Theory, back in the day, we recorded an album in 2007. You can find it on Spotify. It's called Zeta, Z-E-T-A. It's on Spotify, Amazon, things like that uh, on digital platforms. But Hemo Theory, um, my really good friend and singer from that band, he passed away. So... Um, his wife was clearing out some stuff, and I inherited quite a bit of his stuff. He was a DJ on the side, so he had lots and lots of music, lots and lots of compilations, lots and lots of bands, plus his own personal CD collection. And so she had me and a couple other friends come over and go through and take what we wanted, and she was going to donate the rest. So I picked up a bunch of CDs, and most of them are still in separate boxes uh, a lot of compilations um, stuff that he used in the DJ world even stuff like country stuff like cameo um, and like I say just tons of comps so one day I'm going to I pulled a lot of it out put it in my collection there's a lot of it that's still there this is one of them that I was able to pull and I realized that I need to do something with all these CDs. Quite a few of them can come into my collection, and then quite a few of my probably I gave gave away a bunch of them back on the in those days to other viewers, but I had less or less viewers at the time. So if I did it now, I'd probably get a bigger response. But I just wanted to pass the music on somebody that, that loved it. Anyway, so I went back and was pulling some of that stuff. That's where this came from. So obviously, a uh, best of cameo would be great for a DJ. So that's where that came from. Um, all right, and then this, these are all, well, Jeremy Camp, he's a uh, Christian rock, pop rock, radio-friendly rock. Anyway, Jeremy Camp, love that stuff. It was funny because the other day, just the other day, um, my daughter, who is who just turned 27 a couple days ago, two days, well, a week, a couple days ago, she mentioned how she heard a Jeremy Camp song somewhere recently. She said, it took me back to my childhood because we used to listen to this type of stuff in the car all the time. So she hadn't heard Jeremy Camp in quite a few years. And so she said, wow, it really took me back to my childhood. So this is, uh, are these even in the right order? This one doesn't see, maybe it is from newer to older. Uh, one of his worship albums. 
And I'm not sure. I think he's done some stuff since then. This was free when you bought his new album. The bookstores, family Christian bookstores used to do this, and it would have you know interviews and bonus stuff on it. So I've got one of those. So anyway, I'm just gonna blow blow through the Jeremy Camp collection. I really enjoyed his stuff. He was just edgy enough to to fit into that category of rock, but still uh, mellow enough to and enjoyable enough uh, to just casually listen to. So. Not sure of his current status. I know I've, there's been some stuff since my collection, but all right. And then moving in, we got another camp. We got Steve Camp, uh, big Steve Camp fan. Been a big Steve Camp fan since the '80s. Saw him in concert back in the day in the in the late '80s, I guess. This is, I think, this is pretty much his last album that he recorded, and it's, it was a tough one to get because it was only available like through him. It's on a small label, but glad to have it. A little more mellower than some, even this one, a little more mellower than some of his stuff. Um, Abandoned by God, great stuff. Actually, which one was this? Desiring God. I feel like there was one. Oh, this has got, I'm thinking of talk song times. Anyway, uh, consider the cost. He borders between a little edgier pop rock and more melodic, worshipful type stuff, but just absolutely loved his stuff. Mercy in the Wilderness. Have quite a few on vinyl, but... Not all of them have been released on vinyl. Uh, Taking Heaven by Storm. This is when I consider his heyday. This is his, his best stuff. So I've showed in my recent video a best of uh, uh, vinyl that I got. But it's not this best of. Which I'm not sure if this one's on vinyl. It's an earlier best of album. Had a couple new songs. That are so worth it. Justice. One of my absolute favorite albums. This is this right here. Prime. After God's Own Heart. Another one that was absolutely great back in the day. 101. This is one of the ones that I saw recently at a thrift store, but I already have it. So should have picked it up and rescued it for somebody else. But Fire and Ice, one of the first ones I discovered him on. This one is where he was a little more edgier. This album has a little more, I mean, it's still pop sensibilities, but there was a little more guitar driven stuff in the early days. Including this, which a friend of mine made years ago and gave to me, Steve Camp and the Barrett Band. There's an album out there. Uh, it's a dying world. I have the vinyl. I think some of this is from that. It was him with the Barrett Band. And this was just a CDR that somebody made. And it's. I think it was only available overseas. And I do have a copy of the vinyl, gladly. But it's one of those ones that I don't think ever came out officially on CD. Or if it did years later, I never discovered it. So, all right, moving on. Um... These are actually some that my kids re really were more into. Capital Kings, very modern pop, couple guys to pop stuff. This we used to listen to in the car all the time. My kids loved Capital Kings. Jason Castro, you may remember him if you watched American Idol in the early days. He did American Idol for quite a while. I don't think he won, but he went very far. And then I saw him in concert. Uh, a handful of years later, and that's where we bought his album at the time. So, Jason Castro. All right, moving into the more C's. Here we got Carmen, Heart of a Champion. Carmen is upbeat, a little edgy, lots of pop, lots of danceability. Everywhere he goes, all over the spectrum. You pick up an album by him, it's going to be a country song, a folk song, a spoken word stuff. There's rock, there's pop. He's all over the place. Kid friendly stuff. Just grew up, love, grew up, I grew up. My kids grew up loving him, so we listen to this stuff all the time. This is a single that came out. I don't think I ever picked up the full album for Mission 316. I don't think this is the full album. This has got a bunch of mixes and stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know why. Maybe I, ah, why don't I have it? Anyway, um, and these are some, some uh, more like compilations of the stuff that I've picked up over the years before we got into... The actual oh I do have it okay dummy mission 316 I guess I did pick it up at some point for some reason I thought that was the only one I had it at, for the longest time one of my favorite albums the standard um, I had a, a, I was a DJ on a radio back in the day in these days where I was it was late at night well, late at night like nine o'clock on a Sunday evening they had Christian rock show and they brought me in uh, to a, it was a local big local station in the area down in Mississippi I mean like the big rock station and somebody on the staff was a Christian and wanted to have something Christian related. And word got around and somehow I got pulled in and I became a DJ. I still have tapes of all my shows. I probably did a dozen or, I don't know, a couple dozen shows um, live on the air. So I was actually spinning CDs. It wasn't, you know, back in the day where they put them on. the. They did have stuff on the computer. And the DJs at that point were just basically choosing 
the songs on this old, you know, old CRT looking monitor with, you know, bad graphics and they were just songless and you'd choose them and it would play them. And then the commercials were on eight tracks, the, the eight track de decks, they'd put them in and it would play a commercial or two. So that's how the DJs did it for me. I came in and had two CD players and used to play this song and then cue up the next one and, and pull them in and stuff. So I was definitely manual at the time. Loved it. That was so fun. Then we had to move. Left state. So I turned it over to a friend of mine who took it over for a while before they finally stopped doing it. But um, used to play songs from this all the time. That's the whole point of that long rambling on story. Riot. Absolutely loved it. This is the one my kids just loved it. No Monsters in My House. Uh, you know, just so many songs. The song Riot. Um, yeah, I've got videos of my kids running around the house screaming and dancing to these songs. Absolutely great. And then I got some where the kids, some of my kids who were younger at the time, saw the video and it's got like monsters in it. And they're like, yeah, that video used to scare me. It's got an alligator man and stuff. Anyway, the absolute best, greatest hits by Carmen. I'm sorry, I'm rambling on. And then here's one, here's one for Mark, one of my viewers who said, you don't have any cars? I do. I don't have a lot of their stuff on CD. Hon honestly, not a huge Cars fan. I have been picking up their vinyl stuff. Um, I have some of their older stuff. But never really in the day bought their CDs. And so I, But I do have a great assist because to me, that's at least the best to have. So there you go. I do have some cars, just not a lot. And here's one I missed. Uh, Cast a Dragon. This is a Christian heavy metal band that... Uh, little sleeve. And I guess it because it was such a little sleeve, I somehow totally missed out on showing it. All right, and then we got Casting Crowns. If you're into in kind of, you know, everybody kind of knows them. Uh, big, big, big in the Christian market. Very praisey, uh, praise type stuff. But, you know, with a borderline rockish type flair. Light rock, AOR, light uh, praise type stuff. Just love their early stuff. Live in Atlanta. And then their first, I think, is this their first album? I'm drawing a blank. And they went on to do a lot of stuff. Um... They were uh, they played locally in our bush gardens years ago. Years ago, it was them and no Mer and uh, mercy me. And I remember riding rides, uh, some of the rides, and they were on the rides, the singers, the guys, and so you know, um, yeah, they were in line ahead of me. So they they were enjoying the festivities of Bush Gardens Williamsburg. Anyway, that's it for this one. I'm going to move on from here. One just catch all those stragglers up. I thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Rock on. And rock hard.